You know, I really didn't think you'd be the type to read this much. You don't have to keep carrying around this old book. If myths interest you, I can always get you a new one. Hmm. If you're sure. As always, let me know if you need anything, okay? Well, is wanting to bother you not a good enough reason to come visit you? It hurts me that you think I always have ulterior motives. You're not wrong this time, but... <laughs> I'm just here to tell you that you did a great job. A little birdie told me that the latest deal was a real success, all thanks to your efforts. Things are moving fast. You've been working hard for us. For me. And you deserve all the praise that comes your way. It'll take some time before we manage to fully get to power, but when we do, we'll be able to do anything. And you'll be exactly what you've been designed to become. My obedient knight. My perfect little thing. Forever at my side when I have control over everything. Do you want to come talk to the new prisoners with me? I think there's someone who you might want to have a little word with, and who really wants to see you. Of course. We kept your old leader alive and untouched just for you. Now it's your time to make them see what they missed. In the end, it worked out better for all of us, because you're much better with me. And you're all mine. All mine. In body and especially in mind. We can take our time, though. We still haven't had our daily session. And you want us to have our daily session, don't you? That's my good night. Just the mention of it is enough to make your pretty little eyes glaze over. I'm just going to reinforce the usual, then we can get going. Eyes open, pretty please. And look at me. By now you should know it doesn't matter if I use my eyes or just my voice to hypnotize you. It might be a little easier for you to let go when it's just my voice washing over you, taking you deeper. It's easier because you don't have to concentrate on anything at all, not even my words. Just the sound is enough to relax you further and send you to sleep. But I don't want you to forget just how pretty my eyes are. And how deep you can also go just with them. I'm going to let you close them soon. But I want to look into yours. And I want you to look into mine. I want to see your eyes go blank. All the way when you give me more of your mind. Day after day, trance after trance. You've given me so much of you. So much of your will. And you're already so obedient and well-behaved for me. It won't be long until your desires revolve around obeying me and only me. Doing everything I want you to do. After all, you exist to protect, to defend, to serve. And we both know you've spent so much of your life defending and protecting the wrong cause. For people who do not value you who will never give you even the recognition you deserve. Unlike me, I value you. And I will make something great out of you. So you just have to trust me and relax, and you'll feel so good. Be so perfect. That's right. That's all you need to do. Relax, and I'll guide you. I'll make you feel safe and cared for. You feel safe and cared for with me. That's why it's so easy for you to slip into a trance every time. Why, no matter how hard you try to resist, you always end up asleep. Why, even now, looking into my eyes, you can't help but notice the heaviness in your eyelids, getting heavier and heavier. But... I want you to focus completely on me for as long as you can. You can do that for me, right? You're my good little knight, my sweet little knight, and you can follow one simple command from your superior, can you? 
Continue to focus all of your attention on me. Even if your eyes wander, just keep bringing them back to me, to mine. It's okay if it happens. It's normal that your eyes really want to wander shut when you're tired and relaxed. But I want you to try, even when your mind keeps focusing on how heavy they're getting, on how nice it will be when you finally do close them. Just like when you feel really sleepy and your eyelids feel really heavy and want to close and how nice it feels when you finally do allow them to and let yourself drift off. The more you think about closing your sleepy eyes, the harder it is to think about anything else. And it's going to feel even better because you just know you're going to drift off into a much better sleep. Much more soothing much more relaxing, one in which you can feel so much pleasure through just doing as I say. As your eyelids feel heavier and heavier, you have to try harder and harder to blink yourself awake, blinking more and more, eyes feeling so heavy, eyelids so heavy that they become harder and harder to open with each blink. Eyes are getting more and more relaxed until they don't want to open anymore. You want to slip into thoughtless sleep for me. Oh, so much. And your eyes will fully close when you are ready to fall into hypnosis for me. Your heavy, sleepy eyes want to close and you want to obey. When your eyes close, you will slip into a state of deep, hypnotic sleep. You will close your eyes and sleep. Close your eyes and sleep. Close your eyes. Sleep. Sleep now. It's okay. You can just sleep and obey me. Nothing else matters except sleeping and doing as I say. I want you to sleep and obey me, so you're going to do just that. You trust me, so you're going to sleep and sleep and sleep and relax. And there we go. So deeply relaxed and ready to obey my every word. You've been obeying me so well, and I'm so happy with all the ways in which you've been helping. It feels so much better to have a purpose, doesn't it? You can relax all the way, knowing there's nothing you need to worry about. You have me, and I'll deal with all that's stressful, and ensure you feel good. So relax all the way. There's nothing you need to stress for. Your eyes, oh, so relaxed and closed. You can just keep relaxing down the rest of your body, down to your neck and arms and shoulders, your hands. Uh, you dropped the book. I should have told you to put it down before I started. That's on me. It's okay. No need to stir. You can let me take care of everything around you, so keep drifting off, okay? I'll pick it up for you and keep it safe. You trust me, right? So, keep sleeping for a second. That's right. Let's have a look. <clears throat> what is this? You bookmarked one of the stories, huh? Actually, you bookmarked several. All in the same segment. All about the same tradition. Hmm. You wouldn't mind if I had a look at these now, would you? It won't take long. You can keep sleeping and relaxing in my presence. And what I say to you doesn't matter. All that matters is that you keep listening to my voice and letting it relax you. All of these about the same figure. A god of hypnosis. 
of influence and control. <laughs> I, I can definitely see why you're drawn to them. This specific story is about a lonely human who feels aimless and unwanted in their first encounter with the divinity. Someone who always tries their hardest to protect others is made to feel loved and cherished for the first time by a supernatural being, no less. <laughs> so much about the human's devotion after they become a follower, the special relationship they had. In this story, the god decides the human was special above all other followers. <laughs> You really are a hopeless romantic, aren't you? And what a twisted romance you had to choose. The god grew jealous and possessive, wanting the human under his control at all times. So he made of the human something special. Something who would always be by his side. A... <laughs> hmm. All right. Sorry for keeping you waiting. We were at a point of relaxing your hands, weren't we? Relaxing them all the way, now that they're nice and free. Let them rest on your lap for me as we move back to your chest, and it relaxes too with each breath in and out. In and out. In and out. Now, my little knight, you remember what I told you a little while back? Everyone has a nature, and sometimes our nature is overpowering. And you and I have so much more in common than you realize. You were always meant to be mine, just as I was always meant to be yours. Your guide. Your... And that's why we've always been drawn to each other, haven't we? This is our place to be. With each other. With me in control and you following my lead. Keep following my lead now that you are deep deep into your mind, in a place where you feel safe and cherished, safe, cared for, just as long as you obey and do exactly as I say. I'll take care of all your needs, all your desires, because you trust me, you feel safe with me, don't you? Your mind is open to me your deepest thoughts within my reach. I want you to think about everything you want. You want revenge on your old friends, our enemies, and I'll give you exactly that. But I also want you to think about everything else I could give you. Just as long as you are open with me, without any reservations, just as long as you tell me your deepest desires, Tell me your deepest desires. What is it, my dear knight? It's okay. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. If you want to speak to me, you can do so anytime. Anything you feel, you can tell me. You will tell me. Huh? You love me? I'm... Ah, sorry. That was too loud, wasn't I? Uh, it, it's all right. Shh. You can keep your eyes open for me, but no need to fully wake up just yet. <clears throat> hey, it's okay. Look at me. That's right. Back to my eyes. You're so good for me. We're here now. And this feels good and comfortable, doesn't it? I don't want you to hide anything from me. Nothing at all. You're still under my command, don't you forget. 
Obeying feels good. Being honest with me feels good. You're going to keep being honest with me. Right here. Right now. You can say it all to me. You can trust me. I will not judge you. I will not hurt you. Tell me what you want. Do you like kisses? Do you want me to kiss you? You just have to ask for it. Use your pretty words and ask me to kiss you. <laughs> what a mess you are. You can have a kiss on the cheek instead. See, you're okay. Everything is okay. Focus. Breathe. You're safe, relaxed, and completely in my control. Slip or not, love is another truth, and you want to be truthful with me. Love can be a strong force, a great motivator, and I know exactly how to use it, so that you'll find yourself more devoted, more loyal. So, thank you for this. I'm going to help you up. I'm going to count up from five, as usual, and then you can wake up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wake up. 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 Mind clear and ready for the rest of your day. It's all right. No need to be embarrassed. Your confession was surprising, but welcome. You should have told me sooner, though. I promise I'd have treated you well. You don't know what came over you, huh? It's fine. Let me guess. You don't know why you said it, but it felt right again, didn't it? That sure happens a lot, but it's a testament to how good you are for me and how little you have to think when I'm in control. And what about me? How do you think I feel? You're perceptive, as always. It's true, I value your loyalty, your dedication. But most importantly, I value you. Would you like to know how I truly feel? Do you want me to tell you? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to let you know just yet. Maybe another time. If you keep behaving well, I'll let you know very soon. Now, I'll let you in my arms for our usual post-session care. But no falling asleep, okay? I need you to be completely awake. There's still so much we have to do today. Hmm. That's right. Come here, right up. Ah, the book. You dropped it earlier. <laughs> You've been diving deep into this, haven't you? I did have a little look at all your bookmarks. I think I've learned a bit about what sorts of things you like to read, hmm? You are drawn to stories of devotion, control, and power. It reflects the essence of what we share, doesn't it? Hmm. What do you make of it? Do you see yourself as the loyal follower? Me as your god? You believe the power I hold over you is that much? Hmm. I never reached that far into the book, so it's my first time reading all that. In all honesty... I think it's been on my bookshelf for as long as I remember. I definitely don't remember buying it. <laughs> and you picked it up, just like that, of all the books. For how long do you think these coincidences will keep popping up? Well, I can't say I've ever believed in much. For all we know, all of our coincidences, our dreams, all of this... Could just be that. Coincidences. But it is a little bit hypocritical to say it's impossible, especially when magic is all around us. 
<laughs> Especially when I can put you to sleep just like this. Sleep. <laughs> wake up. Sorry. I know I said I needed you awake, but I couldn't resist. I like your hypnotized face very, very much. But you don't mind, do you? You trust me. Good. That's what I like to hear. Trust is a delicate thing, isn't it? Easily broken, difficult to repair, just like a glass. I won't break yours, just as I know that you won't break mine. I know I can't quite put my finger on why I trust you so much, but even if it is all beyond our control, it doesn't matter, does it? Even if we've met in a past life, and this is our way of finding each other again, it just means I'll end up finding you in every life. That means that in this world or another, I'll always be here to protect, guide, and command you, and you will always be mine. But I have no intention of dying anytime soon, nor will I let you die either. Now, come on. Time to go and pay a little visit to your old leader.